This is the Wii Viewer. And the Little Wii Viewer. And we're going to review Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Yeah, this game. This one was a tough one to review. Only because if you rent it, you can't play it. Unless you have an Animal Crossing Amiibo. And that's not fair. Yes, it is. Seeing how it comes with the game. They won't even let you get past the first startup screen if you don't have an Amiibo to touch to it. And you can't just use any Amiibo. You have to use an Animal Crossing Amiibo. They made me buy an Amiibo just so I can actually play this game. Well, believe it or not, you're supposed to buy the game. Not rent it. Well, I'm glad I did rent it because it's not that good. It has its upsides, but its downsides are a lot worse. It has its moments. The problem is the moments are too hard to get to. Oh, let's talk about the board game because that's the main draw of this whole thing and I don't know why. What do you think of it? I think it's just mindless fun. Do you use the word fun as in boring? This is something where I'm, if I'm chatting with my friends, I will be playing this kind of. I found the main board game incredibly dull. I mean, the only thing interesting about it was the stock market, and that's all luck. I mean, there's a little bit of skill involved if you use the cards to go just the right amount, but th in the long run, it really is just luck. No, the skill is the skill involved is uh, whether or not you want to go and sell it high or wait longer. Because every thousand, you get an extra heart, isn't it? Hey, there are no hearts in this game. They're music notes. You're right. Music notes. Sorry. Reused from New Leaf. Well, that's not shocking. I mean, this whole game is a reuse from New Leaf. I think the only way this game could work is if it was actually packaged with an Animal Crossing game. This should have never been its separate release. This should have been a mini game that you can play wrapped around your town in the new Animal Crossing. But that doesn't exist. I meant in the future. This That's what this should have been. It's not going to happen in the future. Then you could be playing with actual people from your town. This doesn't feel like a game that should have been separated. Now to make this short and simple, the board game is played like this. You roll one die and you go around a board. You either land on a good spot or a bad spot. The good spots give you more money and the bad spots take away some and you can also get happy points while you're at it. A thousand dollars will get you another happy point. Now some of the spots change depending on the day, if there's an event going on, or you have to buy turnips, which you can use to sell on different days. Plus you can go around the board collecting stamps which get you even more happy points. And the one who has the most happy points at the end it wins. Every time you roll the dice with an amiibo, you get a happy point and then you move like the amount of spaces that you roll. Notice that I said amiibo. One of the big problems with this game is that the player with the amiibo gets the happy points, but if you're not playing with an amiibo, you don't get the happy points on roll, which means you have a significant advantage over other players, which is kind of insane. That is wrong. Because then they're saying, well, why don't you have an amiibo to play along? Some amiibos have special interactions. Like sometimes your villagers will be like, I sent him to the real estate office and Tom Nook would get a happy point as well along with alongside the villager those were cute little things but the problem is the game was so boring the only thing good was the time limit you'll know when this is over i don't think you understand the point of mindless fun but do you know what was fun being trapped on a desert island game that's the one i was like this is what the game should have been finding the parts that you need to make a raft finding supplies exploring these different islands that you come across you only have a certain amount of days to do it this was great now the problem was that this sort of became the same thing over and over and over and over again there's nothing new well you'll either encounter snakes or centipedes and it's all going to be the same thing and i found that annoying they should have expanded on this and basically dumped this whole board game what I liked was that you had to use Animal Crossing cards. I had to buy Animal Crossing cards too. Well, that was only six bucks, so that's not so bad. I'm pretty sure it comes to the game as well. If not, it comes with Happy Home Designer, which was a much better game than this. The, all the characters have different abilities that you can use on the island. You, so you're going to want to set your team in different ways. Like some have higher roles or some can do better at picking fruit or crossing water. It all was helpful. It just depended on the island you were going to. Now, one of the most annoying parts was that there are actually five or six modes that you can unlock and they don't exactly make this easy. Every hundred points, you get a ticket and often you need four or five tickets just to open an attraction, which means you have to play a game a lot just to get enough tickets to unlock another attraction. Why do they make things so difficult to just play this game? Different games will give you different amounts of tickets. This bouncing balloon game that you see here that one actually does a decent job for the amount of tickets and the amount of time you spend in it the island does a really good job but it's a little bit of a longer game uh, an average game of the board game which takes about like an hour 30 to like two hours with four players can get you about 100 purse that's like 400 happy points which is quite a lot if you do a full month but that's a lot of time spent in a very boring game boring animal crossing amiibo festival would you buy rent or skip 
I feel like this game would have a much better model if it started at ten dollars the board game and five bucks per mini game or something. Remember when we first saw this? We thought it'd be free. I got maybe. You know what? If they gave this away as a saying, you know what? If you buy this amiibo for twelve bucks, you, they we're gonna throw in this game you could download. What was it like? Fifty bucks? If you don't include the am amiibos with the game that come with it, but you have to. But you have to. I'm just saying, if you don't... Come on. We have to include the price. If it wasn't a part of it, it would be like $36. Would you buy this game? No. And I wouldn't either. This game was incredibly dull. And like I've said over and over again, with the exception of that Escape the Island, the game would have been a total wash. They should absolutely skip this. Well, that's my review of Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Why don't you check out my last review of Blocky Bots? Or a classic review of Animal Crossing City Folk. I thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe.